Good morning, everyone. This is Deborah. I want to share something with you. Just some things that are going on and also a message the Lord gave me today. I have been going through a time unlike anything I have gone through before. I have um, shared with you many times the doubts that I have as far as whether I'm hearing from the Lord. And I've been going through a time of just being quiet and listening and waiting because there's so many things people are saying, so many contradictions, and I do not want to be found guilty of speaking something that the Lord is not saying to me. But recently, and really all along, I have heard other messages that are very similar to what I have been given, if not exactly the same things. And, but at the same time, I have still been unsure and questioning in my heart, and I've been trying not to do that. And so I've really basically been waiting on the Lord to speak to me and each time I would go into his presence, something began to happen. And I've shared many times that I have a lot of physical manifestations of the workings of the Holy Spirit. One of my gifts is to actually be able to feel his presence in a physical way when he's working in me. And when I would go to prayer, I would be quiet and I would wait on the Lord. I'd begin to meditate on him. And these little coughs would come up. They'd be a little dry cough. And I recognized them as some type of a deliverance or cleansing. So I was encouraged by that, even though at the same time I was having a lot of doubts about things. Um... I hope I can get through this without crying because our Father is good to us. This morning, I was feeling a manifestation that I have not felt before, and I really can't even explain it, and I couldn't understand it. I knew it was, I knew it was the Lord because it was so deep inside of me but there was a lot of different things going on in different areas in my chest, in my head and I asked the Lord I said, good morning Father something is happening inside of me and I don't know what it is and I heard, it is I and then he gave me a message, but before I sh tell you what he said. I want you to look at this. I had to look it up to see if the Father had ever actually said, it is I. I know he said, I am that I am, and there's a lot of other things, but I wanted to see if he actually said, it is I. And here in John 6, he's talking to his disciples when the storm was rising in the in the sea and they were afraid and he said it is I do not be afraid so I got my notebook out and I began to write <clears throat> and this is what I believe he said to me <clears throat> I said I believe he gave me Isaiah 27 this morning to read, will you tell me what you want me to know? And his answer is this, it is I, child, I am here. I will break through the hearts, the minds, and the souls of my people. The time is now, the time is now. Do you not see? Do you not hear? Every eye shall see me. Every ear will hear me. I will not disappoint my beloved. My people have been waiting a very long time for me to make myself manifest through them. 
but I tell you the truth. The time is now. The great awakening. You will feel it. You will see it. You will taste it. Nothing will remain the same. Trust me in this. Do not look back. Look to me, the author and the finisher of your faith. Now, as I said in this, uh, as I began, the Lord gave me Isaiah 27 this morning. I was walking the girls and I was asking him if there was anything that he wanted to say to me. And I clearly heard Isaiah 27. And I want to read that to you now. The Lord had given this to me years ago, and I actually, uh, you know, highlighted some of it. And I felt that I knew what he was saying, and I want to read this to you, and I'd like you to take this to the Lord and find out what he would tell you about this passage. In that day, the Lord, with his sore and great and strong sword, shall punish Lithiathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that day sing ye unto her a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it, and I will keep it night and day. Fury is not in me. Who would set the briars and thorns against me in battle? I would go through them, I would burn them together. Or let him take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. He shall cause them that come of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom and blood, and bud, and fill the face of the world with fruit. Hath he smitten him as he smote those that smote him? Or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that are slain by him? In measure, when it shooteth forth, thou wilt debate with it. He stayeth his rough wind in the day of the east wind. By this, therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged, and this is all the fruit to take away his sin, when he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in sunder. The groves and images shall not stand up. Yet the defense city shall be desolate and the habitation forsaken, and left like a wilderness. There shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down, and consume the branches thereof. When the boughs therefore are withered, they shall be broken off. The women come and set them on fire, for it is a people of no understanding. Therefore he that made them will not have mercy on them, and he that formed them will show them no favor. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt, and ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. And it shall come to pass in that day that the great trumpet shall be blown, and they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria, and outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount. At Jerusalem. I shared with you in one of my videos a while ago that I was told as I was riding in a car that I was going to Jerusalem and I pondered it and I thought how could that be and we stopped at a red light and the light changed and it turned green and we turned left and we were riding along and I saw a, a sign by the side of the road, and all it said on the sign was Jerusalem. And I've never seen that sign again. I'm going to Jerusalem, and so will those that the Lord has been preparing. I love you guys. We'll see each other soon. Bye.